You're watching Taiwan News. I'm Viet Cường. Now today's headlines. Delegation of Korean ambassador visits Taiwan. Preparing for the Taiwan Spring Fair 2013. Daitu District, Taiwan Province, concentrates on development of animal husbandry farm model. On January 10th, the delegation of Korean ambassador led by Mr. Oh Nak Young, Deputy Ambassador of the Republic of Korea, visited Taiwan province. This is the second visit of Mr. Oh Nak Young to Taiwan during the last two months, showing Korea's attraction to this land. On behalf of Taiwan leaders, Mr. Zun Ngoc Long, Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, warmly welcomed the Korean delegation and briefly introduced again Taiwan potentialities for economic development as well as Taiwan's tremendous capacity to attract FDI in recent years. Currently, a great deal of Korean enterprises are doing business activities in Taiwan and still many others are searching for investment opportunities. In return, the Korean delegation showed their interest in running water and wastewater treatment projects in Taiwan. The delegation informed that many Korean enterprises are looking for opportunities to invest in smart cities in Yenbing complex because Korean smart cities are now models for construction in Vietnam. Chairman Zhu Ngoc Long proposed to Korean ambassadors and trade promotion agencies for supporting Taiwan in popularizing investment potentialities and attracting ODA to carry out the project of creating smart city in Yenbing Industrial Complex. In order to welcome the Lunar New Year 2013 and satisfy the shopping requirements of Taiwan residents for the traditional Tet holiday, on January 11th, Taiwan Department of Industry and Trade, in collaboration with the relevant agencies and branches, held a meeting to discuss the coming Taiwan Spring Fair 2013. As planned, the Taiwan Spring Fair 2013 will attract more than 100 enterprises with over 150 stores that will display and sell garments, electronic and telecom devices, office equipment, agricultural and aquatic products, an array of different kinds of cakes, jams and candies, plus household commodities. According to the management board, the fair gives priority to high-quality products made by Vietnam. Moreover, visiting customers can buy many typical regional products and other special products of craft villages in Taiwan province. In order to make the fair run smoothly, the management board plans to carry out effective methods to ensure security and environmental sanitation, prevent fire destruction, and strictly control products for display. The Taiwan Spring Fair 2013 will last from the 22nd to 29th at the Central Square, Taiwan City. Upon the approval of Taiwan Provincial People's Committee on establishing Kim Sơn Industrial Cluster in Kim Sơn Commune, Định Hoa District, after more than one year of implementation, on January 4, 2013, Định Hoa District held a meeting to announce the detailed plan of Kim Sơn Industrial Cluster in order to attract investments and develop industrial production in the area. Kim Sơn Industrial Cluster has an area of 20 hectares in the hamlets of 5, 6, and 7 in Kim Sơn Commune, Định Hoa District. This is the first industrial cluster of Định Hoa District, which focuses on the development of manufacturing building materials, forest product processing, and industrial and warehousing services. The plant space in Kim Sơn Industrial Cluster is surrounded with green trees to make a beautiful landscape that regulates the climate for the whole area. Kim Sơn Industrial Park is one of the three industrial clusters in Định Hoa District under the Common Construction Plan of Building Industrial Zones and Clusters in Taiwan Province in 2020. Kim Sơn Industrial Cluster has relatively convenient transport system to Taiwan and Bakkan Province through the Provincial Road 268. This is also the only industrial cluster in the district that announces its detailed plans. 
This will be a grand opportunity for the Nwa district to initiate industrial development in the area. In recent days, the cold weather made a great impact on people's lives. It is the main reason why so many children are hospitalized for treatment of diseases related to the respiratory and gastrointestinal tracts. On average, the pediatrics of Tangwen Central General Hospital these days receives 15 to 20 children for inpatient treatment. Currently, this department is always overloaded at the rate of about 130 patients on 100 beds according to allocated norms. Because of intensified cold weather, most infants are hospitalized because of pneumonia, bronchitis, laryngitis, asthma, flu, diarrhea, and other diseases related to respiratory and gastrointestinal tracts. Winter in the north is the time for rampant development of many types of virus. At this time, children are more susceptible to serious diseases. Parents are advised to pay special attention to taking health care measures to prevent illness for children in the harsh weather of winter. Implementing the policy of restructuring crops and livestock towards goods production, recently Dai Tu District has developed many models of local farm economy towards goods production and initially brought efficiency at work and opened a new direction in economic development, contributing to the success of the new rural construction program. Despite being a district with many advantages on land and food source, livestock industry in Dai Tu district hasn't really developed. Some reasons for this situation are due to outdated forms of growing livestock, fragmentary and scattered production, not well-selected livestock breeds. Recognizing these limitations, Daitu District directed specialized agencies to make a proposal on development of livestock, poultry in the period 2011-2015. The application of science and technology associated with ensuring hygiene and food safety, environmental protection are the top priorities. Besides, the district has issued a number of mechanisms and policies on capital support and guidance on breeding facilities construction, seed and livestock breed selection, and technical training on animal husbandry and disease prevention for households. With the support solutions given by the district, the agricultural program of the district in the year 2012 has achieved important results with well-developed animals models, resulting in high economic efficiency. In recent years, the models of livestock farm with large investment and high economic efficiency have appeared in some communes, such as the model of Nguyen Van Phong in Bing Sơn Hamlet, Bing Thuận Commune, with two farms of feeding totals, and the models of growing Zian Palmolo plants of the household Chen Van Nhâm in Tien Trường Hamlet, Tien Hội Commune. Our Tien Hội grapefruit is favored by many people and is sold in the market at a high price because of its good quality. It contributes to make the environment healthier, cleaner, meeting the demand for fruit in the society. The animal husbandry and crops development according to farm size model of households has contributed to increase agricultural products for the locality and at the same time address the needs of jobs for hundreds of workers in rural areas. The orientation in the animal husbandry development according to the farm model in Dai Tu district will certainly get a further development with the objective of making animal husbandry industry become one of the basic commodities and spearhead in the economic sector of the province that will contribute to the development of the new rural construction. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.